the grumbler this book is awesome by far it's awesome it is called grumbler by ariel hahi and marina veselinovic i'm very excited about this book so oh guys it's so good you're gonna love it the grumbler so if this is your first time stopping in, I'm Tracy. Welcome to the Tray Station Story Break. Make sure that you um, give me a quick hi so I can give you a shout out because I can't see if you're there unless you say something. So definitely like um, say something so that I know you're there. Um, and that's it. So here we are today reading The Grumbler. I just bought this book. On Amazon and I read the back and I was so taken with the story oh it's just so great I hope you like it as much as I do I love it <laughs> I told the um, students I work with I'm like guys this is my favorite book they're like Tracy every book is your favorite I'm like that's true too <laughs> but what are you gonna do anyway so the grumbler I'm gonna go ahead and get started. It's Ariel Hahi and Marina Veselinovic, like I said. Oh, so good. Okay. All right. Grumbler lives alone inside a drippy trash hill at the dump. He stinks of rotten eggs and dirty diapers, and that's the way he likes it. When the sun comes up, he wants to smack it down, sugar slurping star, he grumbles. He kicks a tuna can out of his way. Scraggle Cat picks up the can. I didn't have breakfast. She licks the goopy globs of tuna. Oh, thank you, grumbler. Scraggle Cat's eyes go soft, and a thump comes from her chest. Love flutters over to Grumbler and lands on his arm. It's itchy, tingly, and terrible. He swats at Love. It flaps left and right and then settles on his shoulder. Crusty, crowd licking cat, he grumbles. He clomps into the forest. Two baby squirrels munch acorns in a tree. Love itches Grumbler's skin. He wants to get rid of it. Grumbler has an idea. I got something for you. The squirrels bounce down from the tree. Grumbler cups the love in his hand and sets it in their tiny paws. You're such a nice guy, Grumbler. <laughs> The squirrel's eyes go soft in their chest thump. Love flutters onto Grumbler's leg. Another love is on his ear. They're tingly, itchy, and terrible. Ridiculous rose rumpin' rodents. <laughs> he grumbles and then he stomps away. Bunny family nibbles on some clover. Love prickles even more. Here, take these. Grumbler yanks Love off his ear and leg. He shoves them into furry bunny paws. You're the best, Grumbler. <laughs> the bunny's eyes go soft and their chest thump. Love lands on his head. Love flies to his arm. Love flutters to his leg. Love perches on his belly. Love even rests on his foot. They're tingly, itchy, and terrible. Grumbler scratches all over. Cactus cuddling carrot crunchers, he grumbles. Now he really needs to get rid of all this love. He 
He tries the pond and it's crowded. Exactly what he needs. Grumbler storms around the shore. He pulls off each love and thrusts them into any paw or wing he can see. <laughs> then he sprints out of the forest and back to the dump. He climbs into a shiny bathtub, closes the curtain and waits. Grumbler peeks out. He smiles. All the love is gone. He heads back to his drippy trash hill. Something thuds onto his back, something tingly, something itchy. He turns around and a swarm of love buries him. Every time I give it away, it just keeps coming back. Grumbler groans, hi, Nausea. He lies in the dirt, his whole body tingling. The forest animals circle him, their eyes all soft. The love twitches more, warming his skin. No one has ever come to visit him at the dump before. All he's ever known is being alone. What if all this love isn't such a bad thing? Thank you. The love snuggles against him, then sinks down inside. Grumbler's whole body glows from nose to toes, and it isn't terrible. I love how happy Grumbler looks <laughs> with his little smile. His heart thumps together with all his new friends. Aw, look at Grumbler. Grumbler hops up and beams at the sun. Sensational star! Nothing good about that grass gurgling ball of gas, a voice says from a cracked coffee pot. ruh -roh. Grumbler picks up the scowling rat. He knows just what this little guy needs. What do you think? What do you think that rat needs? Love. Wasn't that so cute? I love that he finds love and he tries to throw it away. I think that is so great. And every time he sends it to someone else, he gets more in return. I just thought it was phenomenal. Um, yeah, I made my hat in school today in camp. Love my hat. Um, and we, uh, I actually read this um, at camp yesterday just to try out the book. And after that, I had the kids illustrate, well, we had the kids illustrate their favorite part of the story. Um, and this is what I got. So this is mine. I showed them this as an example. Okay, there's a scraggle cat with the tuna. Isn't that adorable? And then I have another teacher one. I love her so much. <laughs> How cute. <laughs> With the little sunshine and all the love. You gotta love the love. The love is adorable. And then these are the kids. How cute. I have kids from like, we have seven to like 12. You're welcome. How cute. Look at all the love, the fluttering love. What a great book. Like what a positive, beautiful book. Sometimes, you know, we all can feel alone or sad or whatever. And I just love this story so much because kids can relate to like, you know, wanting to be alone. Like look at Grumbler's sad face. Oh. <laughs> What's funny is I was, I was making the hat today. The kid's like, is that the Grumbler hat? How cute is this one? She's seven. Ah, oh, so cute. And I have this one. Oh, I'm blocking the Grumbler, I think. Oh no, that's a tree. They loved this book. I love this story so much. I thought it was so great. 
And it's funny because I've never heard of it. I literally was just on Amazon and I came across it and I read the back and I just fell in love with the bag and I just ordered it and it happened to be phenomenal. It's a great, great story. He's a potato. <laughs> at, least I, at least I think he's a potato. He looks like, yeah, he is a potato. Um, yeah, I just think it's so great. And this is a pot on his head. You see my, see how it's like torn? <laughs> I don't know what to do with face makeup guys today. So I just did the hat, but anyway. Um, awesome story. It's so great. I love the grumbler. I think he's so cute. And the more love he tries to get rid of, the more he gets. Isn't that phenomenal? Such a good story. He's one of my loves with all the wings. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this story. I love, loved this book so much. And that is it. So thank you for coming. Nice seeing you, Molly and Lorenzo. Thank you. And Nazia. I can't see anyone else. So if you're, you know, if you were watching or you stopped in or whatever, um, I didn't get to see you. Um, next Wednesday, I am going to do, actually, I'm going to do two next Wednesday. Um, I'm going to do this book. I think it's called Elmer. It's about an elephant. I just read it today in camp and I loved it so much that I'm going to do it next week along with, um, whoop, this one. And it's called, we don't eat our classmates. Um, I ordered this one too. This one was a really cute story too. So I'm going to do two next Wednesday. We don't need our classmates and then Elmer. Um, and that's it. So thank you for popping in to Story Break. And I will see you next time. Thanks for coming in. Bye. I hope you enjoyed. Have a lovely day. Stay safe.